Flat Earth Clues 13, The Lost Nail. For want of a nail, for want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For want of a shoe, the horse was lost. For want of a horse, the rider was lost. For want of a rider, the message was lost. For want of a message, the battle was lost. For want of a battle, the kingdom was lost. And all for the want of a horseshoe nail. Every day I take part in the war against mainstream science, looking for the small cracks in the defenses, looking for the nail that could tie it all together. People sometimes ask me, what would it take to get me to renounce my belief in flat earth? What proof could be given to me? I found my own answers frustrating because they seemed far out of reach. Most involved a mainstream space agency rocket with a 4K camera attached. Some even suggested getting NASA to take a flat earth member into space. Bold, but unrealistic. I started revisiting older ideas, and it occurred to me that maybe I should be thinking smaller. I needed a test that could be done here on the ground, where just about anyone could participate, but still be tied to a space program. What I settled on was the astronaut suit. This is not to be confused with a G-Force suit or G-Suit. A G-Suit, which fighter pilots use, is part of the plane. It's connected to various tubes and systems. The self-contained astronaut suit, objectively, is probably the most remarkable piece of engineering in the world. Let me explain. Consider what the astronaut suit or spacesuit does. It protects from extreme heat, extreme cold, maintains oxygen levels, humidity levels, has a communications array, and most importantly, has some sort of compression system that counters the massive vacuum force of space, accomplishing this through a high-end microprocessor runs completely off battery power, and it has never failed. Now, even if you could believe the perfect performance record of the spacesuit in 2018, consider that it worked just as well in 1969 with almost no computer technology and far less efficient batteries. Now, this is where things get strange. This magical spacesuit, this miracle of modern technology, where do you think it's tested? If you ask anyone tied to NASA, they'll tell you it's tested in water. And yes, we see lots and lots of video examples of astronauts training in deep swimming pools next to exact replicas of the space station. And you say, that's not strange at all. We just take it for granted that some of the testing is done in the pool because it simulates being weightless. This, of course, does nothing for the vacuum part because the water is trying to get into the suit. In space, it's the opposite. The air in your suit is trying to get out under immense stress. Now, one would think that eventually, to truly test the suit, you have to walk into a vacuum chamber here on Earth. And we do see a suit tested here, but no one is in it. And here, well... No, and this is a diary of an astronaut who says he was in a chamber once, but no video. Hey, wait a minute. Where are all the videos of astronauts in their miracle spacesuits having fun in the vacuum chamber? I mean, if I had to go to space, I would want an assurance that my suit, when exposed to the vacuum of space, wouldn't blow up like a balloon and burst. You're telling me that 50 years after it was invented, the only video we have is this? One minute long, tethered, suspended by a harness, with no independent verification? You're not testing the suit because the suit doesn't work. It can't work. It's a phantom technology that you can only show on camera, like Star Trek or Buck Rogers. 
it doesn't work because there's no technology to keep a fabric suit safe against a vacuum. So you skip the tests and just went straight to the space footage and no one noticed. And if the suit is hollow, then all the missions that show the suit are hollow. And if the missions are hollow, then so are the astronauts and the entire agency just because you didn't spend the time to fake a test for the public. See where the proverb comes into play? The suit is the nail, and NASA is the kingdom. I'm so confident in this claim that I have made it my new challenge to anyone in the scientific community that can pull strings. Several universities have vacuum chambers, and this isn't a stretch for NASA. No rockets, no space station, just a suit. Well, two suits, because I'm not going in there alone. One for me, and one for a scientific volunteer. You have faith in science? Time to put your money where your mouth is. And if I'm right, then NASA will refuse any request regarding the suit, regardless of the release forms I would sign because it's just a modified piece of scuba gear. And if I'm wrong, well, find me a vacuum chamber video and tell me how likely that is. For want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For want of a shoe, the horse was lost. For want of a horse, the rider was lost. For want of a rider, the message was lost. For want of a message, the battle was lost. For want of a battle, the kingdom was lost. And all for the want of a horseshoe nail.